this is the long awaited so happy for this the my uh college dorm hall so um excuse me <coughs> So yeah, this is a little different scenery. I'm right next to my closet. And back there is like my full length mirror and like some extra boxes that I have. So like that over there, like see that cloth? That's my robe. So like right next to it is my door. So I know this is like a little weird spot, but everything I have is stored into my closet. So I didn't want to like take it all out to show everything, to put it all back. So here I'll show and put back in the closet. So yeah, um, let's get started. Um, if I don't remember where something came from, or if I don't know what it's priced at, um, I'm really, really, really sorry. I will try to figure it out and put it down below, but I'm pretty sure I remember everything. Like, everything. And if I remember where it is, you can check out how much it is. But I have, like, an estimate on everything. So, first I'm gonna start with what's next to me over here. These are things that, like, okay. So, I have these three green drawers that I've had for about four years now. Maybe five. Ooh. Good. A little, little, little more. So I've had them for about like four or five years. My mom got them for me. I picked them out because like green's my favorite color. And um, basically it used to be like art storage, like arts and crafts stuff for school and like gift bags and tissue paper and pictures and random things that I just didn't know what to do with. So I cleaned it all out and that's going with me to school. So in it is like almost everything I have. So what I'm gonna show you first is whatever didn't fit in it. So first I got two of these room essential plush pillows. The polyester fill, machine washable, hypoallergenic, microfiber cover. The standard queen size pillow. And they were 404. I remember this. These pillows were 404. Four dollars and four cents. Like, how amazing is that for pillows? Like, I don't know if any of you have ever gone shopping for pillows, but it's not expensive, but it's like really for a pillow. Like, some pillows are like eleven dollars a pillow. Like, weird. So I got two of them. So I have two brand new pillows. I, I spent eight oh eight. Eight oh eight on pillows. Bomb. Okay. So, oh, and those I got at Target. Like, a lot of these, like, room essential things come from Target. And they're really, really, really nice. Target is, like, a really inexpensive place to find everything. Everyone's like, oh, I went to Bed Bath & Beyond. It's like, yeah, they have, like, a lot of cool things. But Target has almost the exact same stuff cheaper. So, yeah. So, I got this shower caddy from Target. It has, like, this little spot for, like, your bar of soap. And then it has like these two little containers for like a toothbrush and toothpaste and face wash. And then it has like these two big things for like your shampoo and stuff. So um, a lot of people, like I've seen so many of these um, college halls. And a lot of people have the one from Bed Bath & Beyond where this part you can take out. because It's like a clear piece and like this is the color. And like you can take this part out. Like so if you want to like brush your teeth at night or in the morning and you've already showered that day or whatever, you can just take your toothbrush instead of taking your whole caddy. I just figured, I'll carry my toothbrush and toothpaste. whoop de doo Okay. So next what I got is this, my backpack. I've actually been using this for, like, everything. It's, like, a brown leather. I don't know if it's... It's definitely not real leather. It's from Target. Um, oh, yeah. And this was... It was a room essential bath caddy. I don't remember how much it was. I'm pretty sure it was, like, 10 bucks. That's it. Which is almost the same as that one from the one from Bed Bath & Beyond. And that one is better. But I didn't feel like going. Because I wasn't going to go for one item. So yeah, I got this backpack. It was $30 at Target. I really hate this light. Like, you can't see the color of this backpack. Close enough. So it has um, a little pocket here. A bigger pocket here. And then it has two side pockets. It has, like, those little weird pen pockets. Where there's, like, no way to zip or clip it. They just kind of sit there. And then it has a zipper pocket on the inside. And it's huge when i say huge it's huge it holds so much stuff this thing is like mary poppins bag it's bottomless it's so cool it's so convenient i don't have any problems with it yet there's no wear or tear yet and i've had it for maybe a month now and i've kind of just been using that to like go to work or go to a friend's house or i went to six flags and i i didn't actually didn't bring that back to six flags what did i take i took it air softing so i had extra clothes for me extra clothes for my brother deodorant body spray Hair stuff, face stuff, anything to keep you clean was in that bag. Along with two sets of clothes and extra shoes. It was it was awesome. 
it was an awesome time. So moving on, I have this little Target bag. This was like the end of my travels. And it's kind of just extra stuff that I needed that I hadn't gotten yet. So I like picked it up when I went to Target. So first off, I had to, I got tampons because I mean, who doesn't need those? Because we all know I do. And then I got this two pack of Pressed Pro Health toothpaste. It's the Pro Health Whitening. Um, I'm not gonna tell you how much tampons are. You know how much tampons are. If you don't, then you're a dude and you don't need to know. Um, these, I think I got like a really good deal on these. This is why I got this one. Because I was just gonna get like the cheapest one there. So I was probably gonna end up getting like a Target brand toothpaste because it's freaking toothpaste. I mean, it cleans your mouth either way. And I didn't think I'd end up with the, the 30% free Pro Health Whitening toothpaste. But I think I got a really good deal. I think it was like four bucks for both, which is like really nice for Crest. Like I bought the Crest Whitening Strip once and that was like 60 bucks. Crest expensive. Then I got this little Target toothpaste holder because I have one. It's yellow. I got it from like someone because they have like eight of them. And I had it, but it didn't fit my toothbrush. My toothbrush was too big. I don't know how that happens, but I don't know. So I just got this one. It's blue and kind of see-through. It's plastic, opens, you know, it's huge. Then I got these, this double Purell. Just says value twin bag. I don't know why. There's nothing cool or special about it. It's just Purell. But I figured um, I'm going to school up north, like north more. It's not crazy. It's only two hours away, but it's more north. So winters are colder. So I have a feeling sick season is going to hit me hard. I don't have a bad immune system, but I get sick every winter. So I figured this stuff will be my pride and joy. And when I went for orientation, the bathrooms didn't have soap dispensers, like the dorm bathrooms. So if I went to pee, I'd need soap. So I just got a little like hand soap, the cucumber melon, just because I love cucumber melon. It's like one of my favorite scents in the world. So just got the soft soap, palm hand soap, like, I don't know. I figured I'd want it for something. And yeah. Ooh, I have a receipt in this bag. The soap was $1.47, the PR was $3.99, the toothpaste was $4.99. And everything else is not related. It's like candy. I bought candy. I buy candy almost every time I go out. I have so many cavities. It's ridiculous. Brush your teeth, floss, and mouthwash every single day from the time you were seven and older. Especially if you love candy. Because I never used to floss or mouthwash. I used to only brush my teeth once a day. I have so many cavities. Okay, okay so that's just really have it's out of my closet. Put the tampon on. So what I have in my closet is this bed set. So it's going to be hard for me to see what this looks like. You'll definitely see when I do a dorm haul. But it is twin extra long. Duh. If you don't know that you need twin extra long for college, you're way behind on the boat or wagon or whatever. Um, it came with the comforter, a pillow cover, um, the sheet set, so like the fitted and like the loose one. And then like an extra decorative pillow that matches. So it like it's perfect. The only thing is is that I have two pillows. Um, so I'm probably just gonna get like this is like a corally pink, like a salmon color kind of. It's it's an interesting color. So I think I'm gonna go get like like there's this brownish gray color in it, and I have like a gray body pillow, so I might either get like a brownish gray color or I might get a white, or I'm just gonna get extra pillowcases. Just in case. Oh, and then I got this. It is the, oh, that was from Walmart. My mom got it for me because we were looking at, um, at Kohl's and we had missed the sale by one day. So everything I looked at was like over a hundred dollars and it was just like a sheet set or just a comforter or the comforter and sheet set was like 150 bucks. And it was like almost set. So my mom found this one. It's a six piece set. It's a twin extra large, and she only got it for 50 bucks, so Target, not Target, Target is life. My mom didn't look at Target. She was at Walmart one day picking up groceries or whatever, and she found it, so I mean, it works. I mean, it feels soft, it feels durable, so go with it. Okay, and this is a Lumish Essential shoe rack. So from the picture, it is two racks, 
but because of the way the racks are raised, you have technically three shelves from the floor. So I have enough room for three shelves worth of shoes, which is perfect. So then I have shoes for the gym, indoor shoes, outdoor shoes, winter shoes, summer shoes, all that jazz. Like shower shoes. I have enough room for everything. And it will fit under my desk. So I'm either going to put my trash can or that under my desk or like next to my closet, behind my closet, near the door. I'm going to do it somewhere. But let's just say I have no idea what I'm doing with any of this stuff yet. All I know is going it's in my room. So in the first drawer, I have this Room Essential Comfort Mattress Pad. It's like, it goes on top of your mattress and it's supposed to, um, like, protect you from anything. Basically just says machine washable or pepper allergenic but basically you can put it over your mattress to protect you from what anybody else has done or been near on that mattress so yeah mattress pad and then i have um a towel set so it's um it's this color and a lot of people are like oh i have like eight towels for school I need eight towels i really don't i use one towel and when i get out of the shower i'm clean and then i hang it over the back of the chair or on a hook so, like, I have hooks, so I'm probably going to put it on a hook. My towel doesn't get dirty. So I bought two towels and, like, a hand towel. Or, like, if I go to the bathroom and I, like, wash my face or brush my teeth, I can just use a hand towel. And that's all I got. I don't use face cloths. I use loofahs. And two towels should last. Because I'm the type of person where I do laundry every single week. And if I need to, I'll do it twice a week. So I probably won't run out of, run out of towels. Two should be fine for a week. A week's worth of showering. Plus, um, I don't wash my hair every day, so that's the only reason why I really need a towel. Like, I have a robe that I can wrap up in, so I don't, I don't see the point in having too many towels. So I have those, and that's in the top drawer because they take up a lot of space. Oof. Okay, and then the next drawer down, I just have like extra shampoo and conditioner. I have the Aussie, the Aussie, Aussie, the Australian Kangaroo Purple Shampoo. <laughs> the miraculously smooth shampoo um for seriously silky smooth for fussy frizzy manes so like my hair is really thick i know i'm white but i my sister is black and she says i have black girl hair because it's so thick it has a natural weight to it so it's not like curly or pin straight but it's like naturally wavy and frizzy and fussy and thick and annoying so i use the shampoo and it works so good it's works so good guys so if any of you have thick hair or wavy hair or frizzy hair this shampoo is so 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 good and instead of using like an Aussie conditioner like most people do I use the Moroccan infused um suave professional conditioner it's formulated for ultimate shine so I use Moroccan oil when I straighten my hair because it like helps keep the frizz down and helps keep my hair smelling nice and feel nice and reduce like the burn damage so I got the Moroccan uh, conditioner for when I don't straighten my hair. So I just put it in a ponytail or I leave it down or I braid it or something. It'll still feel smooth and nice and shiny and like look nice. And I've been using this. I actually have one of each of these in my shower right now. I just figured I'd get extra now. But like, I don't know. I'll probably need it in like a month and a half. Because these bottles are actually big. They're like a decent size. This is like an average size. But this is a huge bottle. Like, look at them compared. Like, it's huge. So, I probably won't need this for, like, another month and a half to two months, depending on, like, how things go. I'm definitely going to run a conditioner first. But, um, I figured I'd just get them now. But I've been using that combo for about a month and a half to two months now. And it works so great. So great. Um, and then I also have... I don't know if this is room essential. No, it's called Good Housekeeping by Joy Mangano. I don't know. Um, apparently she patented this and it's a, it's 34 hangers. So there's 14 strip hangers, 10 suit hangers, six finger clips, and four cascading hooks. Not 100% sure what any of that is, but it's the value back, um, huggable hangers. So, oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's like that velvet type feel, 
and um, they basically cling to the clothes so that they don't fall off and they're ultra thin so that you have more space in your closet. I get a wardrobe, not a closet. So only half of it is a, um, like a closet, it, like has like the closet bar. So I only have half of a wardrobe to hang up clothes. So I figured these would be really good. I don't think I'll use all 34. But I think it's really nice to have that many, especially if like summer, I probably have more shirts to hang up than I do in the winter. But in the winter, I have more coats and stuff so I need like thin and it's weird so I figured um if one breaks I have another one or if like I'm going to be using these for the next two to three years so yeah I figured 34 was a nice place deal and that's in the second drawer and then in the third one I got these it's like a matching set um it actually came with like different colors different sizes like different like um textures and uh like opaques to them so like this is the blue one um it was like 99 cents a piece i got two bowls and two cups because i do have unlimited swipes at the dining hall but on wednesdays like my schedule is just so weird that i may miss dinner the dining hall is closed and i love cereal i love takeout so like god forbid i ever get takeout one day and um i split it with someone so i'll have like a bowl or something to put the food in or if I, like, need something to drink, I go out and buy, like, a pitcher of juice or something. Or I have, like, a pitcher of water. I mean, I don't know how many of my roommate are doing things yet with the fridge. We don't have a fridge. Our dorms don't come with a fridge or a micro fridge or anything like that. We're actually not allowed to have microwaves in our rooms. It's going to be fires, I guess. So, um, yeah. I'm not really sure what I'll end up using these for, but I know I'm going to need them. I know. Oh, I got those. And then I got the this aluminum frame magnetic dry erase weekly calendar. So it basically has, um, it says week up at the top, and then it has Monday through Sunday, and then on like a whiteboard, and then it has like this little cork board at the bottom, and it has this magnet, magnetic, magnet, not magnetic, magnet, but it also is cork board on the outside, so like, I can like stick, I can stick the magnet to a specific day and like put like a ticket or something, or like a schedule or I could put anything on that that is like related to a specific day which is actually really cool and then it has like it came with a marker but oh and it's own like hookup set so I have like a command hooks but it has like this neat convenient thing to like set it up so I don't have to like drill a hole or anything which is really cool but I also got um a set of markers because these markers they suck they always suck everyone says they suck so I bought expo markers I bought five of them it's like Black, blue, red, green, I think purple or something like that. Maybe another black. I don't know. I don't really remember. I packed it away in one of those boxes. And um Yeah, but they got the extra fine ones, so I could have these, I can color code it. It'll be nice and cool and convenient. Then I have this uh table calendar. So it's just very basic. It's black polka dot and pink. And there's basically nothing written in it yet. Um, but it starts in July and then it ends in June of next year. So this is perfect for a school calendar. I feel like I could just put this on my desk. So I do have an agenda to take with me, but I feel like if I put this on my desk where I'll probably study or see it every day, it'll be like really convenient. So I have like three separate calendars for me so I can like manage my time better, which is basically my biggest goal is to manage my time properly. Um, I did pack my agenda in the boxes too, and I really don't want to like open them and try to go find it, but um, it's just a basic purple agenda. Think of agenda, think of it purple. Done. All right. Um, to be honest, I think that's it. Oh, I did buy a hair straightener and a blow dryer because I've basically just been using like my sister's or my mom's stuff. I haven't had any of my own. So I just went out and bought that stuff. Um, it was like 10 to 15 bucks a piece. I went to Target. It was cheap. Um, I've tested both of them out. They both work perfectly fine. So I didn't want anything too crazy and expensive because A, I'm taking it to school and I don't know if my roommate will touch it. I don't know if anybody will touch it. I don't know if it'll break. I don't know what's going to happen. So I got the cheapest ones I could get and they actually do work good for me. So I got that. And then basically the only two other things I need to get is um, I need my books. I need two of them. 
but my school store has been open for like a couple of days, maybe a week now, maybe. So I want to order my books now. And then all I have to do is get laundry detergent and I have everything I should need. Um, my roommate and I are going shopping together. Um, the first day or the weekend or whatever. Around like the first week or so that we come to school, we're going to go shopping together. There's like a Target around the corner and there's a shuttle bus that'll take us for free because we're students. And we're just going to go get like a trash can and an area rug and maybe lamps. I don't know. I mean, I have two lamps. I have like a desk lamp and then I have like a clippy lamp. I have a bedside table lamp and a clip lamp, like clips to things. Um, I've had those for a long time. Now it's not the point in going out and getting a new lamp. Um, because they both work perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go shopping for like those random odds and ends things because um she lives in Connecticut and I live in Rhode Island. So I mean obviously it's not that far, but it is a distance. And she doesn't work, but I do. And my schedule is just so hectic. So I haven't been able to see her yet. We do talk on Facebook and stuff. But um, yeah, we're going to do that when I get there. And then I don't really have anything to put on my walls, which is really depressing. I was going to take some art with me, but there's only like two things I want to take. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, but definitely about maybe a month from now, I'm going to give a college dorm tour. So I go to school in two weeks, so I want to give myself some time to like vlog about like the life there before I do a dorm video. So I want to officially settle in. I do want to go shopping before I show you guys. So yeah, um, yeah, that's it. Um, okay. So this is my college dorm hall. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you could like and subscribe down below or to the side, wherever your computer works, that'd be fantastic. Remember, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel as long as you look for it. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.